Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to cover how you can set up your own drip irrigation system from a tap or a faucet. Now, this is a very easy way to set up your own drip irrigation system. And you can even set up drip irrigation system to an area where you can even drink a trench. So let me show you how you can set this up. Well, the very first thing you want to do is dig a trench where you want to put in your pipeline to put your risers in for a drip line. Now, what I have here is a trench that I dug with a tractor. Now, I also use this pick, this hand pick, to dig a trench wherever I couldn't take my tractor. So I've designed a system to take water from this faucet and deliver the water through PVC pipes to all of this area of my garden. So let's first finish up all of this pipeline and then we can hook it up to our faucet. As you can see, I have a T-joint right there. From there, I have an L-joint that feeds another section of a garden as well. So you can create different sections of gardens here as well. And in the middle is my walkway. After opening up the trench, I laid down all the pieces of my pipe right next to the trench so it's easier for me to glue. Let me show you what kind of pipe I'm using. Now for our personal vegetable garden, I'm using this 3 quarter of an inch class 200 pipe, which means it can hold up to 200 PSI. You can also use a schedule 40 3 quarter of an inch pipe as well. And I put a T-joint at the end of this pipe as well. My rows are going to be four feet apart. So I've already cut four piece section of this PVC pipe and put the T-joint at the end of both sections. I'm pre-cutting all of my PVC pipe and pre-gluing all of these T-joint sections inside so that I can bring it outside and go real fast out in the sun so that I minimize my time out in the sun and from the heat. And then I have a four foot three quarter of an inch PVC pipe as well that I'm going to use to join the two of these sections with the T-joints. All right, so let's glue this section. I'm putting some of the glue right on this pipe and then joining this section, keeping, making sure that these T-joints face upwards because I'm going to be attaching my risers here. All right, now let's glue one of the sections to the PVC pipe. There you go. And this is how I just keep on continuing to put in my PVC pipe. All right, the whole pipe is in. As you can see, the shade was way over there for the trees. Now the shade has moved up right over there. It took me about two, three hours to make all the cuts and then glue them together. Plus the time I took for lunch. So it takes time to do all of this stuff. Now I'm using a three quarter of an inch pipe because all the adapters, all the swivels, all the valves that I have, they're all three quarter of an inch. Now you can also use a half an inch pipe or a one inch pipe depending on the flow rate that you want for your garden. Depending on how big is your garden, you might want a certain flow rate. So let me put up a chart to help you understand flow rates and what kind of pipe you would need. So here's a chart of flow rate. You can see a low pressure from gravity to 20 PSI, a three quarter of an inch pipe can deliver up to 11 gallons per minute. At about average PSI, which is from 20 to 40 PSI, a three quarter of an inch pipe can deliver up to 23 gallons a minute, which is about 1400 gallons an hour. And you can see also that a half inch pipe can deliver up to seven gallons a minute at low PSI and 14 gallons a minute at a average PSI. Now this also depends on the length of pipe you're running. This is about 100 feet of length of pipe. If you're running 200 feet or 300 feet, all of this flow rate is going to go down with the amount of length of the pipe. So here's my irrigation design. I have a tap or a faucet here and I'm going to use a hose to hook up my tap to my PVC pipe. From there on, I have two sections of garden. I have a little garden on the left and a bigger garden on the right. And I have a T-joint here that's going to deliver a PVC pipe to the small garden. And each drip line over here is about 10 foot length. And on the bigger side, I have a PVC pipe, a three quarter of an inch PVC pipe going all the way straight and delivering water to this section of a garden and each one of these drip lines is going to be 40 feet long. Now the drip line that I'm using has emitters at 24 inch spacing and the flow rate is half gallon per hour. Now this determines how much water we'll be outputting, how much flow rate we need. So let's look at that. So here are the calculations regarding flow rate. I have five rows that are 10 feet long and I have 30 rows that are 40 feet long, which comes out to be 1250 feet long worth of drip line. So each one of my drip line has emitters at 24 inch spacing and it delivers half a gallon per hour, which means I have about 
625 emitters, if I divide 1250 by two, that's 625 emitters, then I divide that by two again, make it half, which comes out to be 312 gallons, 312.5 gallons per hour. So when I divide 312.5 gallons per hour by 60, it comes out to be 5.2 gallons per minute, which is adequate flow rate for a three quarter of an inch pipe that I'm going to use. Now, depending on your flow rate, you can go with half an inch pipe or even one inch pipe. It all depends on the PSI you're working on and the flow rate that you, that you need to irrigate your garden. Now it's time to put in the riser assembly. Now for the riser assembly, this is what I have. I have a piece of a three quarter of an inch PVC pipe, which I'll be using as my riser. Then I have an adapter that goes from three quarter of an inch slip on to three quarter of an inch threaded. On top of that, I have a valve. So this valve allows me to turn each berm or each row on and off. And on top of that, I have a 600 series swivel. Now this swivel allows me to hook up my drip tube. So the drip tube goes right there. So let me assemble this first. And I want to have the swivel facing that way so my valve is on the back. There you go. That's how I want it. So that it sits like this. So let's glue this. I'm putting in some of the glue right there. There you go. And then I'm gluing this adapter into my riser pipe. And now I'm going to glue this on top of that. So get some glue here. And then put it on top of the three quarter of an inch T so that the riser valve is facing me and the swivel is facing towards the rows. So I pre-assembled all of these riser assemblies in my workshop so that I'm not out in the sun assembling all of these. Now all I have to do is glue each one of these risers into the T-joint. All right, all the risers are in. And this is the inlet for all of my irrigation system. You might say my inlet is right here. However, my hose is way over there. And that's because I was using my hand pick to create a trench from here to there. And it became really, really difficult to create a trench with the hand pick. And we are running out of time. I need to get the garden going and I need to put the plants in. So I'm going to bring the hose from the faucet way over there and attach it right over here. Okay, now it's time to hook up the watering system to this faucet. And for that, I'm using an automatic timer. Now it's pretty sunny out here and I'm gonna be spending some time to hook it all up and also set my timing. So for that, somebody sent me an umbrella. It's called ABBA Patty Umbrella, which I'm going to put up. Well done, Vela is up. And thank you for sending this ABBA Patty umbrella. This is going to come in really handy to work out in the sun on irrigation system like in this situation. Okay, to start, I'm just going to hook up the hose directly to the faucet or the tap to flush the line. And then I'm going to hook up the another end of the hose into this adapter. There you go. I still need to dig a trench here and we are running out of time. It's a really hard ground. It's taking a lot of time to dig a trench. So that's why I'm putting in this hose to go from my inlet to the, to the tap. It's also a really good idea for people to put in a hose like this where they can't dig a trench or don't want to dig a trench to mess up their landscape. So now we're turning on the water to flush the line and the water should come out of here. All right, the water is coming in, the line is flushed. Okay, so now I'm using three quarter of an inch cap to cap off the end. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And then I'm going to cap it off. There you go. So I capped off all the pipe, turned the water on, and there are no leaks. So right now, it's time to fill in the trench. After capping the pipe, now let's test each one of these risers. So let me turn this on, and there's water. All right, we're all set. Now, it's pretty easy to attach drip tube to the swivel. All you have to do is shove the drip tube in, 
and then screw the swivel on top of the drip tube to secure it in place. There you go. It's not going anywhere. And I just clamped the end of the drip tube with the hose clamp. So I have this valve on each one of my risers for every single row. This allows me to turn the water on or off depending on whether I want to water the row or not. So if I haven't planted this row, I'll just turn it off and it won't get any water. All right, now it's time to hook up this automatic timer to the tap or the faucet. Basically the tap goes in there and the hose comes out of right there. So you can buy this kind of timer online or anywhere from your hardware store. You can buy it from Home Depot, Lowe's or any kind of hardware store. Basically you have a rain drip system, but many companies make them so you can buy any kind of timer you like. Okay, let me undo the, the hose from the faucet. Make sure, yep, it's closed. Okay, so I'm gonna hook this up here. This is how simple it is. Goes on pretty tightly and snug. And then hook on the hose to the other end. There you go. These kind of timers are very simple to program as well. Basically set your frequency, whether you want to water every day, you know, every two days, every hour, something like that. I have it set to every 24 hours for now. And then set your run time. You can set it to three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You can also set rain delay and other stuff as well. Or you can also turn it on manually too. And here you go. This is how it looks like when it's all set up. All the brooms have been made and the drip line has been put in. I tested the system and it's working really well. Well, the water is coming out of the drip tubes, so it's all working. This is how easy it is to set up this drip irrigation system. All the drip risers and tubes are all set. And we've already planted tomatoes at 24 inch intervals on each meter as well. We first turned the water on and wherever we got the dab of water on each meter, that's where we planted the tomatoes. So all the risers are in and all the drip tube is in as well. So all the drip system is complete. And I hooked up this drip system from a tap or a faucet. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can utilize this system in your home and in your garden. And I'll see you in another video.